Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jaws84 here, bringing guys more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare tips. Today, we're gonna be talking about the ASM-1 Speakeasy, another version of the ASM. Now, this weapon it's great for short range. The amount of rapid fire it has, even without the rapid fire attachment, it does shoot pretty quick. And also, by the way, it does come with an extra attachment called the extended mags and not only do you shoot really quick you do have enough mags just to keep on spraying at the enemy so uh the amount of bullets you carry in the same mag will be 68 or something so you can just keep on shooting forever until your opponent dies you can actually take out like at least five people with this gun kind of insane i've done it before and uh, you might want to go back into my one of my gameplays using the ASM-1 Speakeasy because it is a champ of a weapon. So moving on to the attachments, uh, the foregrip and the stock. The stock attachment will prevent the weapon from shaking out or lower the gun to in place. It's a it's a really, you know, you gotta have this attachment. If not, you're gonna be missing all those shots. And I, I really do recommend it. If you don't have it, then uh, good luck shooting from long range and medium range because without this attachment, you won't be able to shoot from medium range most likely because you, your gun's gonna be shaking all over the place. And I've done it before and it's not a really controllable gun without the foregrip. Moving on to the next attachment, which will be the stock. The stock attachment will allow you to move a lot easier while aiming. Now this is what, what's gonna throw off your opponent because your opponent, when they don't have this attachment, you, they, you, they can't can catch up with you so this is an advantage attachment the stock attachment and I talked about this back in black Ops 2 and people still didn't listen to me so listen to me right now add the stock attachment to your ASM 1 and believe me it will be a great of an upgrade so um, you start evading a lot of the shots more easier while you're, you're aiming yourself and try to take out the enemy so it is a great advantage of an attachment Moving on to the next thing, the perks. Uh, I usually use the Blast Suppressor, Hardwired, and Low Profile because these are the ones that, are, that I really recommend you to use. Uh, the Low Profile is because uh, people keep on using the, the, the UAV. No matter what, every single game that you go in, the UAV will be called. So use Low Profile. The Blast Suppressor, I don't even know why they made us uh, have noise or made us appear in the map every time we use the the little you know the, the blasting you know every time we jump if they don't want us to use it then they shouldn't have put that in the map but whatever you know so that's why I use the blast suppressor so I won't get caught jumping around like crazy so uh, yeah at the blast suppressor you want to get you guys want to be more stealthy the hardwired now this one is really the one that, that prevents you from getting annoyed from the game since a lot of people have system hacks and stuff like that you, I recommend you to use the hardwire so you will not have a, a problem with people calling in the, the system hack and stuff so you, you'll have a clear vision of where the enemy is most of the time so have the hardwired ready uh, moving on to the next thing the exo ability is exo overclock that's what I currently use you guys want to use something else then use something else I don't recommend uh, you know copying me sometimes on the exo ability uh, the exo launcher I use the EMP grenade if you guys want to add some more mixes to it and you guys want to take out the exo ability the exo launcher to add a perk 2 or something go ahead but this is what I usually use in the perks and the exo ability and launchers uh, the score streaks that I use is the UAV the aerial soul drone and the bombing run all these you know pretty much helpful towards getting the kills so uh, that's why I get like around 50 kills per gameplay when I use the ASM1 to speak easy so that is it for now guys guys like this class setup make sure you leave a like on the video and also leave a comment in the comments if you got any questions for this weapon so that is it subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare